and we need to talk about the flavors because if well, you're tasting what i'm tasting oh my god <laughs> oh and welcome to don't worry be happy series five of stouts i have this man here papa dave he is all things stout he is stout full and through and through from the toenails right up to the hair follicles on his head stout yep that's it through and through if you cut him it doesn't right. do anything he, he, it's that's... just stout right now this one yeah what is, have we got what is going to be a bit mind-blowing because it's an outlander Ooh. yes a milk stout rich dark and smooth I thought, but, you were going to say, I thought you were going to say rich, dark, and handsome, which is what mum says about you. No, I don't think she says that. Not what she said today. Anyway, it's a 5.2. What? It is. You're right. It is a 5.2. Now, and that yeah. could be explosive. It could be. In more ways than one. Yeah, that's, that's why it's called the Outland. It could be. It's brilliant with a steak, by the way. That's what they say. I'm yep. full oh, did they? I didn't know that. Yeah. A slap up steak dinner okay. and a warm ring fire after a day exploring the coves, the smugglers' coves. Well, well we're badgers, not sheep. Ooh. Mm. You find us on our own path. Yes. Exploring our surroundings, hunting our flavors, and uncovering hidden secrets to bring you a character. Yes. Now these guys, I think their brewery is on the on the banks of the River Stour in Dorset. Oh, oh is it? Yeah. And I think they've been going. I'm I'm not telling you fun facts. I'm just trying to just oh. fill in some gaps. So I'm definitely not fun fact king. Um 1777, I think they started way back. Hmm? Cool. A slap slap up steak dinner. Yeah. And a boring fire. Oh, all on you. And that's the shocker. You're going to be buying me a step up steak meal. Oh, good God. You heard it here, folks. I'll better stay. I'll better save up for that then. Yep. I think we've got a hint of coconut, cocoa, and vanilla, but we'll we'll get there later. What do we think of the can? Well, I love it. It's nice. I yeah. do. I love it. It gives you it's so much information on it. It is. It's unbelievable. And in terms of label, this bit here, everybody, is very tactile. So it's kind of like 3D. But when you yeah. get to the label, that is smooth. I like it. it. I like it. I think it. I think it's very good. I'm, I'm going to give an eight for that. Nice. I'm giving it a nine. Is I it? like it. Nine. Right then. Let's open it. There is no cap for Dave D. Tough. No, there's tough, nothing there. Tough. Let's have a look at that. Wow. Now that, that. Oh. So let's have a let's have a quick score on the look and feel. Well, on the look of that, I'm going to go for another nine. On that, on the look. My. <laughs> I'm so excited about this taste. I'm, I'm so sorry. I just thought it'd be a kind of standard. Wow. Wowza. Right. Sorry. Your score for, for, for colour was what? Nine. Um, I'm, I'm going to agree with you. And we need to talk about the flavours. Because if well, you're tasting what I'm tasting. Oh, my God. <laughs> God almighty. I'm, I'm sorry to say that. Oh, I shouldn't say that. Oh, I, now. Gosh, I, I, oh. do you know what? I've drunk stout and I've so got a I. mouthful of flavour, which is coconut and vanilla bash. God, this is, uh, um, it, it's, God, that is so strong. Oh my God, it's like drinking ice cream. How how can it, you have a dark beer? Yeah. Yet yet when you close your eyes, your mental oh. picture in your head when you drink this is full of light colours, you know, vanilla and coconut, really light. Yeah. 
How do you get that with a dark beer? I don't know. But That's by crikey, cool. they, they found a way. My word. So the flavour doesn't disappear with every gulp. So nope. that's that's three gulps now, three yep. exact three exact bursts. Flavors are there. They are there, and what they do is they kind of give you a bump in the mouth, and then yeah. they go. That's okay, cool. let's get ready for the next one. It's wow. wow. That is a well, I, well, I've never tasted this stout. It's, it's, what? That's a five point two as well. I know, and it doesn't taste like... Oh. Do you know what the closest we had... Do you remember that marshmallow stout? Well, yeah, that yeah. That tasted just like a marshmallow. Yeah. And it was like drinking marshmallow. This is like drinking an ice cream flavoured pop of coconut mm. vanilla and a little bit of chocolate. Well, oh. I, I have to give it a 10 for taste. Oh. Because it does exactly what it says. It's smooth. Oh. It has I'll all of those back. things in abundance. I'm going to go nine for danger. And for taste? Ten. I've gone for ten. Gone for, for ten taste. for taste. Nine for danger. Can't believe that. Seven. That's 37. I'm going to go eight. I'm going to go eight for danger. And the reason being is the fact that I think there will come a point where coconut and vanilla will be enough. What score have you got then, Papa Dave? I have got 37. And do you know what, do you know what I've got? No, nope, I've, I've got 37 too. Have you? Yeah. And do you know what that score that gives us? No. Nope. It gives us a 9.25. All right. Four. Oh, that's good, yeah. The only thing I would say is, I'm not sure it goes with a steak dinner, because would I, I have coconut and vanilla with my steak dinner? No. I, no, I don't think I would. But I might I have it with vanilla ice cream.